Hi, I'm Mel and I am double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 27th of June, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy today. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to be receiving the messages. Pisces. One more, please, spirits. You have the gift, thoughts, and lovers. There is someone in your energy, Pisces. This could be, obviously, a lover. A companion. They're thinking about you. About giving some type of gift. You've got community. So this could be someone that's part of your community, whether this be local, local community or online. Let's grab out the tarot now. I don't know if you just heard the train. Passion. Kissing. Messages for Pisces. First card, the reading, Two of Cups, a union. And you've got the Two of Swords. The Eight of Swords. is really quiet at the moment the seven of wands the five of swords in the center of your reading today pisces temperance sagittarius energy The King of Coins or the King of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. Your Energy Pisces. And the Six of Wands. Victory. The Five of Coins and the Six of Coins. Walking alone and then coming to, there's an agreement. Okay, let's grab out some clarifiers for these Pisces. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Pisces. What is the Two of Cups? You've got the King of Wands. So a union of two people. You've got the King of Wands, Fire Energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be significant. Someone... Mm. It's like a cranky man. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. 
someone you are giving to. He looks stubborn though. So the King of Wands, normally someone very attractive. He looks like a cranky old man. And then you've got the Two of Wands. So making a choice, okay? Two people coming together, making a choice to come together. These lovers, you've got the Tower. There could have been an, a moment in the past that was knocked down. A something that was unexpected. Knocked down for a reason. Look at those people falling out. So this was knocked down um, for protection, I feel, from the divine. But I feel like there is a new coming together, a new union coming together. Two people making a choice, deciding on a choice. And I feel like this is you, Pisces. You are the Queen of Pentacles. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. That could also be significant. You are giving to this person, this stubborn person here. The King of Wands, he's normally someone very attractive. He's passionate, someone that's a dreamer. Someone that's living their dreams. I feel like you're giving time, money, effort into this person. They could be someone that you are married to as the Queen of Pentacles. She is a mother. They're looking the other way. If you looked at the card, she is giving to him. And he's looking at the coin. But he's looking that way. What is the Two of Swords? You have the lovers. So you could be, you could have been giving to somebody, Pisces. You've got the Two of Swords coming out, um, not making a decision, being closed off to seeing something, choosing. There could have been a third party because this person is giving to something else. They're looking another way. Um, you have the lovers coming out. There's a choice that's being made. And the four of wands. So yeah, there could have been a relationship. This person choosing somebody else that you didn't see. There could be some type of heartbreak. Uh, this person could have a commitment with this person um, or choosing to have a commitment with this other thing or person in their life. You have temperance on the back of the deck. So I feel like you were healing, okay? I feel like this could have been something in the past. This could have also been a relationship that you were in with this person and they had a third party. So this is a soulmate. You do have the four of wands coming out, 11-11. Could be a twin flame. You've also got the lovers. It's like divine has brought you together for a reason. What's the Eight of Swords? You have the King of Cups. The High Priestess. And the Sun. And then you've got the Seven of Swords on the back of the deck. So, this person could have been in their head about coming to you with this third party situation, coming to you with the truth. But I feel like you knew the truth, Pisces. You've got the High Priestess coming out, Pisces Cancer energy. I feel like this is something that was hidden. 
You've got the King of Cups coming out also. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be significant. This is someone that has a lot of emotions, has a lot of love for you. They could also have children with you. They're in their head about coming in with a truth. Leo energy could also be significant. There's something they want to say. It's, you know, there's so much that there's a fish jumping out of the water too. And they're in their head about coming in to tell you about this truth, about this situation, this third party. What is the Seven of Wands? You have the Seven of Swords. This person, you may not be in communication with them. Um, I did see that Seven of Swords come out over there. It's like they want, they would rather leave the situation than come in with a truth. That's what I feel. You have the Ace of Swords on the back of the deck. So there could have been a bit of conflict. This person is giving to somebody else. I feel like there could have been conflict between you and this energy. And I feel like this energy is leaving the situation. As I said, there could be ghosting, um, blocked communication, but they're leaving, they're leaving this family, this blended family, whatever, this 10 of pentacles that they have, I feel, or had with you. They're leaving that situation Breadcrumbing could have, you know, you've got three-party situation here, so breadcrumbing could have been a thing also, but this person's bringing other people into the equation, and I feel like it's causing you to have to fight for yourself also. What is the Five of Swords? What's the Five of Swords? You have the world... the moon so there was a cycle completed as I said there could have been an argument this person could have made you walk away wanted to win I feel like you are hopping out of your emotions with this energy now you're going with that flow and then you've got the three of cups so in the center of the reading it's coming out with that three of cups they could bring something to you about this third party, which causes some type of cycle being completed. They could also live at a distance, this person. Fives represent change. You've got the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups on the back of the deck. So I feel like this person may have made you walk away from the situation but you're on a path now. Everything's happening in divine timing. I feel like this person's now sad that you have walked away from that situation. What's temperance? What's temperance for Pisces? You have the nine of wands. So you are that wounded warrior. You are healing. As I said, Pisces, I could see it in the energy. You have the emperor in reverse. And you have the three of wands in reverse. On the back of the deck, you have the page of swords in reverse. So you could have been someone... You could be watching this person. This person could be watching you also with the page of swords coming out. I feel like you're not wanting to start anything new with this energy also. You're trying to balance and heal your life. This person could have Aries in their chart with the Emperor coming out in reverse. I don't feel like this person is someone that's very nice. You have the Emperor coming out in reverse. So someone that is 
not in their element at all. Someone that's greedy, selfish, someone that's not thinking of the whole situation, someone that's just being selfish and greedy, I feel. And I feel like you're not waiting for this person. I feel like you're not even wanting this person to come back because you do have these boundaries up. You're the wounded warrior. I feel like you're trying to heal your life. You're trying to move on. You're slowly moving on. You are slowly healing, Pisces. So what is this king of coins? What's the king of coins here for Pisces? So you're moving on from that situation. Someone made you walk away. You can see in the energy though, Pisces, that they do regret some type of confrontation that you may have had. You've got justice. The page of swords in reverse. Flipped in the deck. And the Ace of Swords. So there's a new beginning starting in your life. And you've also got the Ace of Swords and he's getting knighted. So I feel like you see truth and clarity. I feel like you were learning the lessons. You're getting knighted. Like you're moving up on the ladder. There is something coming in, I feel, for you. Because this last... The last row here is completely different energy to what we have been seeing up here. Um, someone that's now focused on the material world, someone that is very stable in the material world. I feel like money or abundance is coming to you, whatever you want, uh, whatever you feel abundance is to you. Uh, King of Coins, Energy, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But as I said, you're going to be receiving your justice. You're getting knighted. As I said, there's a gift coming in. Communication. There's a messenger. On something I feel isn't just the beginning. Something you've been working very hard on with the Page of Swords. They're a student. I don't feel like you're a student at this. This is something you've been really focused on in your in your world. Something that is making the money so there's a new beginning coming there's a new start i feel like there is also some type of money that you will be receiving or a gift that's coming in the near future what's the hanging man or the hanged man pisces energy he's a good looking that hanged man you never really get to see a card. You know, the hanged man anyway, that's someone that's... He's cute. You've got the five of swords. The eight of wands. And strength in reverse. The two of swords. Someone feeling stuck. The hanged man. Pisces energy. This is that other energy. They're feeling stuck. And then on the back of the deck, they've got this stuck, not making a decision. Someone that's holding back, not making a decision, cannot make a decision. They don't have the strength to make this decision. I feel like they're feeling not strong without you either. Uh, I feel like they're also having an epiphany. You know, they could have been stuck in the past. This person could be evolving also. Okay, so there could be some positive coming out of this with this person. Because you look at this card upright, she is... She's pushing the lion's mouth open, you know, and I feel like this person has no strength without you. You know, you've walked away. This person could make people walk away. Then they realize what have they done. 
that five of swords is been coming out but do expect to hear from this person messages they could live at a distance as i said this could be i just threw that down then accidentally and it come up that way it's like they're having that strength to send those messages so do expect to hear from this person and I feel like it's going to be more than one message. I feel like this person has had the epiphany in that near future. Okay. What is the Six of Wands? The Five of Cups. This person could look up to you. With that community coming out, they could be someone that watches you, watches what you do. You could have your business online. You know, you could do things for your business online. They're keeping an eye out. What is the Six of Wands? You have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. The Fool on the back of the deck. Aries, Aquarius could be significant. But as I said, this person could look up to you they could um like to follow you uh someone that's following your spiritual journey this person wants victory with you this person is going to want to put the work in in the future Something about a gift. They're bringing in a gift when I was looking at that too. It's like they're making something. They could be making something for you um, to show that they want to come in right. This is someone from your past. This is someone that is a soulmate or a twin flame in your life. You could be working on these pentacles and they will surprise you and come up behind you. But in the end, this person wants victory, okay? They want victory and success with you. The end of the reading. So do expect to hear from that past energy, Pisces. Now let's do these two cards on the back of the deck, what you don't see. You have the five of coins and the six of coins. Divine timing's really coming out the last few days. Could be in a time of no communication, feeling alone to deciding to make an agreement on something. I was keep seeing that agreement, the equal. What is the five of coins and five of cups? So fives, there is a change. Fives have been coming out. There was a time of mourning, I feel, for both. You could be mirroring each other. The two of wands. So this person's in the process of making the decision to come forwards. And then you've got the queen of swords. Virgo energy could also be significant. This person's manifesting a reunion or a union. You know, this person could have chosen a path in the past. Okay, but look at them looking back at you. You are the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone that's been through a lot. She will listen to what you have to say. She does have her sword ready to cut you off, though. So someone that has firm boundaries. This person could have chosen that path, but... They keep looking back. There's this connection. 
that they feel with you. So I feel like there could be, as I said, no communication or very little communication between you and them. What's the six of coins? You have the lovers, the world in reverse. They could be coming towards you, traveling towards you. Capricorn energy could also be significant or Gemini. As I said, distance could also be a factor. And then you've got the page of wands. Okay, so I feel like this person wants to take another, another turn with you on the wheel. They want to learn some more lessons. So whether this be a commitment that you're coming together, you are making a, an agreement to come together. So whether this person just wants to walk with you, you will be giving equal to this person. Um, Gemini energy, as I said, could be significant and Capricorn. But they're coming in as this messenger, as the page of wands. Could be a younger energy, fire, could also be significant, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The color of red. This person's coming in passionately, um, but they're coming back, okay, because they see this connection. They see this was something that divine has bring together, like uh, two opposites coming together, like yin yang. Okay. Pisces. Let's grab out some music messages for you now. We'll do two cards for the collective. Messages for Pisces. Can't buy me love, the Beatles. Good luck charm, Elvis Presley. I'll be your shelter, Taylor Dane. We've got a few today, it's good. There must have been an angel, Eurythmics. You should be dancing, Bee Gees. So listen to those songs, they will have messages and I will grab out a Celtic Spirit Oracle card. Heart center, connection, love, receiving. Number 29, two plus nine is 11. I have been seeing ones today too, or one, one, one. A new beginning. Heart center. Okay, your heart center is where you connect to your external environment. It is no wonder that we associate this center as green, just as nature shows itself to us. Are you looking for love? Wondering when you will find your life partner? Ask yourself how good you are at receiving. Do you take compliments well? Do you ask for help when you need it or say yes when it is offered? Receiving is a part of having an open heart center. We must always be open to receiving if we are asking for something to come into our lives. There are many reasons why we close our heart center down and mainly it is due to being hurt. It may be emotionally, spiritually or physically hurt by another. We close ourselves off to people as a form of self-preservation and by doing so, close ourselves off to receiving. It's okay to open your heart again. It's okay to be vulnerable. We need to learn the lessons from past lessons and, oh, sorry, we need to learn from past lessons and move forwards with an open heart and open mind. Where can you learn to love yourself again? Where can you learn to love your surroundings? Working with fairy energy also requires you to have an open heart. It requires you to be full of love for everything around you, the trees, the land, the animals. It requires sincerity, honesty, and respect. When you come with an open heart full of love, you'll be given access to the other realms where so much more await, awaits you. So always have an open heart. Um, sometimes it's hard. 
okay? I totally understand. Um, it is hard to always have an open heart, but we need to remember that Being an op having an open heart is there for us also, you know, it's, you know, when you don't have an open heart, you're always in your mind about things, having an open heart, being open, f following the, f going with the flow of life, being open, learning the lessons, understanding things, rejection is protection, you know, things like that do help keeping your heart open it's just something that we do need to learn um so open your heart even if you have been hurt in the past um this is all for for you and for you to have a happy life so pisces i'm going to leave it there thank you all for coming to my reading if this is your first time welcome just remember all my readings are timeless so if you ever want to check out my channel there is a playlist for pisces um, I am also doing personal readings, so if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here. I hope you're all having a great week, um, but I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.